How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use NordVPN. This is just a bit of a beginner's guide for uh, NordVPN on both desktop and uh, Android or iPhone. It's really the same thing. Whether you're on Mac, Windows, Android or iPhone, it's all going to be the same user interface. So before I begin, if you guys are interested in NordVPN or if you'd like to get straight to uh, the pricing and discounts, be sure to check the description down below. You'll also find a full review if you'd like to learn more about NordVPN. Okay, so the very basics really. Uh, I'll start with just showing you how you can connect to a server and then I'll just explain the features that come with NordVPN. Okay, so uh, as you can tell here, it's very intuitive. You just have a map design and uh, you're free to just zoom in with the scroll uh, that you have on your mouse or you can just look up servers on the uh, left hand uh, side right here. Uh, you can just look whatever you want to uh, look up here or scroll through. Um, I prefer, I mean, usually I just find myself just zooming into the uh, map and picking the uh, server that I'm looking for. Um, it's also kind of another way to brush up on my geography a little bit. So uh, I, I like this design. Okay, so let's say you want to connect to, um, you know, the United States. All you have to do is uh, just select the location and click it. Quick Connect will uh, connect you to the closest or what NordVPN thinks is the fastest server, uh, depending on your location. Sometimes it's correct, sometimes it isn't, but I'd just rather pick a server on my own. So you just click it and you'll be connected in uh, no time. Now, it depends on which uh, protocol you're using. You can actually uh, connect faster or slower depending on the protocol you're using. Right now I'm using Nord Links, which is the fastest protocol. Um, and just go to auto connect here. And uh, if you just go to uh, the protocols right here, you'll find three protocols, OpenVPN, UDP, TCP, and Nord Links. Now, UDP and TCP are generally uh, for more security. Nord Links is the WireGuard protocol, which will be the fastest protocol. And I do prefer to choose it really, uh, since uh, it operates way faster. But if you are interested in more security features, as you can tell here, let me just show you guys. Uh, on the left hand corner, you have specialty servers, Onion over VPN and peer to peer. Now Onion over VPN will uh, give you access to the dark web without having to use the Tor browser. Peer to peer is for peer to peer activities such as torrenting. But uh, me personally, I have not found any particular advantage uh, over using regular servers when it comes to torrenting. So. Uh, but now uh, what I was trying to showcase is that if you switch to open VPN, be it TCP or UDP, it really doesn't matter. Let me just disconnect first because I don't want it to reconnect. Um, if I go ahead and switch to open VPN, it'll actually give me two more specialty servers. So dedicated IP and double VPN. Double VPN will route your connection through two servers rather than one for extra security, barely affecting uh, the speed really. It's still a uh, pretty high speed. Okay, with dedicated IP, you'll always be getting the same IP address every time you return to one of these servers uh, rather than getting a sh you know kind of scrambled IP addresses these will give you the same IP address if you're interested in something like that you have over 5,800 servers in total and you've got 60 countries now there are quite a few VPNs like Express for example which has 105 countries but as you can tell even 60 countries is enough to kind of uh, cover almost the entire globe really so yeah not bad at all 60 countries is still quite bit quite a bit okay so I'm going to switch to Nord Links because it is definitely the best one. Uh, and in general, by the way, you have CyberSec, uh, which is the ad blocker. You have the kill switch, which will disable your internet when the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And the app kill switch, which is one of the exclusive features that NordVPN has, will close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly 
rather than closing or disconnecting your entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. Okay, so split tiling will allow to choose which uh, applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So uh, you can, for example, pick uh, only your browser or something else to uh, use the VPN uh, rather than uh, just having your entire connection use the VPN. You'll only have the selected applications use it, or you can select certain applications to bypass the VPN while the rest of your network uh, functions regularly through the VPN tunnel. In advance, you will see custom DNS, which will allow you to uh, kind of set your own DNS very easily. It's an easy way to change your DNS if you're interested. And obfuscated servers will uh, kind of obfuscate your uh, traffic even further to make it look like you're not using a VPN in the first place if you're in a censorship heavy country. But overall, if you're in a censorship heavy country, NordVPN will provide you with a special version of NordVPN that functions in censorship heavy countries. And they'll give you that link through the live chat support, or you can just look it up yourself and get it. So uh, yeah, very simple stuff. As you can tell, you know, now that you know, or have a basic idea of how to use the VPN uh, on a PC, you'll actually be able to use it on Android. And now that we're on Android, you can tell that it's roughly the same user interface there's barely anything changing here uh, the only thing that you're missing is a kill switch and apparently according to NordVPN themselves the kill switch is only available on Android 8.0 and the latest phones and if you're on uh, iPhone you do have a kill switch so no worries there but when it comes to Android it's only version 8.0 and the latest Android phones you still do get CyberSec which is an ad blocker you get well half a split tunneling feature you're only able to disable or have you know selected applications bypass the VPN tunnel rather than use it. So it's kind of half a split tunneling feature. Uh, you have auto connect options, obviously, and you have a uh, the same selection of protocols, custom DNS, and one feature that you're only going to get on your phone. You're not going to find those on the uh, PC. Tap jacking protection, which will alert you if a malicious app adds a screen overlay to trick you into an unintended action. And dark web monitor is another feature which will alert you if your credentials get publicly exposed online uh, so that's pretty much it uh, besides that the ui is very uh, similar as you can tell and all you have to do is just select one of these pins and you'll be able to connect it really is as simple as that uh, so that'll be it for this video hopefully you guys kind of learned how to use a nord vpn if you guys have any more questions please post them in the comments down below i'll be happy to answer all of them keep in mind that you'll also find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below as well as a full review if you'd like to learn more about uh, NordVPN with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features. Also NordVPN does offer a 30 day money back guarantee on all of its plans so no matter which plan you get you are able to get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for one reason or another and you can claim it through the a live chat support which is also available 24 uh, so yeah, great stuff overall. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.